For the first time in a while, I can say Oakland Athletics regular season baseball is back. And, you know, even though the A's expectations are extremely low this season, I'm just happy to have the sport back. You know, we went through this long lockout, long off season, and finally we can see the green and gold take the field once again. And so the A's uh, had interleague play in their opening day matchup against the Philadelphia Phillies. So sort of a historic matchup as both teams uh, we're in Philadelphia, you know, at the same time at one point. So, you know, it's it's historic, but they don't play each other too often. I mean, interleague is a lot less common. So, you know, that's kind of the way it was. The A's had Frankie Montas, really their last pitcher that has, I guess their last like pitcher that I that comes to mind for me that is truly respectable. Uh, he was the opening day starter for the athletics. Um, and he struggled early on. The first batter of their season for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber hit a solo homer. So it was one nothing in the first inning as the Phillies got that early homer. And the Phillies would score the next, you know, quite a few runs. Uh, Reese Hoskins got a two-run single, um, and they also got another run. And so it was 4 nothing by the time it was the bottom of the third inning, Philadelphia leading. And then Didi Gregorius, uh, while Montas was still on the mound, got an RBI single. So it was 5 nothing Phillies. Um, the A's finally got on the board and they this was actually their first hit of the game so they're really not playing well they had barely any base runners um uh, Aaron Nola was pitching for the Phillies and he was facing Chad Pinder in the top of the fourth inning Pinder got a solo shot for the A's that was their first hit and homer of the season so that was good to see also their first run of course so it's five to one um and uh yeah that was good to see but the A's, you know, honestly, they kind of made this game interesting. In the top of the seventh, Seth Brown got his first homer of the year. And it was a three-run homer in the seventh inning that made it four to six. Uh, it was a uh, six to four at that point. And then the A's got another run. Tony Kemp got a base hit to score. Um, and it was cool seeing also Stephen Vogt uh, make an appearance as well. And uh, this was sort of an error. It was a bad throw. And uh, Stephen Vogt came around to score. So it was six to five. But the Phillies got a bunch of insurance runs. The A's bullpen is god-awful right now. They have no bullpen arms that are good, in my opinion. I mean, Domingo Acevedo was pitching, and he allowed uh, Nick Castellanos get his first hit of the season. And so it was 7-5 Phillies. Then Bry uh, Bryson Stott got his first RBI of the season, 8-5 Phillies. 9-5 after Schwarber delivered once again. And Kirby Sneed pitched terribly for the A's as well. Uh, so the A's pitching today was awful. Um, and then uh, Corey Knebel got the win for the, uh, he got the save to secure the win for the Phillies. So the Phillies take the first game of the season uh, against the A's. And uh, this is, will open up a three game series against Philadelphia. And I mean, I don't see us winning much. I mean, we're just not a very good team. We have low expectations. I mean, I think we could have won today had we had slightly more chance, uh, like I guess slightly more better hitting in position where we had runners on base and also our bullpen was terrible uh looking at the al west mariners and astros each got wins rangers haven't played yet and the angels and a's are both losers um on opening uh on you know the opening first two days of the season so yeah i mean it, it is what it is i sort of expected us to lose right when montas gave up that at homer you know it kind of set the tone um, but it was cool seeing some guys we haven't seen before and also some familiar faces for the A's. I mean, their best hitter today was Chad Pinder. Um, he had two hits and two runs scored. Seth Brown's homer was nice. And, um, yeah, I mean, those two were really efficient. The A's also had, uh, Jake Lemoyne pitch for an inning and he didn't do well. I mean, all of the A's pitchers gave up runs, so that wasn't good to see. For the Phillies, they had a really efficient pitching performance from their bullpen, uh, Aaron Nola gave up four runs, however, but he was good in the first couple innings. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's sort of depressing seeing this lineup of a bunch of nobodies, but you know, hopefully we can make the best of it. So yeah, the A's lose nine to five to the Philadelphia Phillies on opening day. And um, we're gonna play them two more times in this series. Hopefully we can get a win out of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm just happy baseball's back. I mean, you know, it's not the best circumstance, but it's a fun sport. So. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later, and yeah, go A's.